Summary of Ordinary People by Judith Guest The Jarretts are a wealthy family that make their home in the area close to Chicago. Calvin, Cal, Jarrett is a tax lawyer, and he and his wife Beth have two kids, Conrad and Jordan, also known as Buck. A family member, Buck, dies in a sailboat accident one summer, which is very sad. Conrad blames himself for his brother's death, and after falling deeper and deeper into sadness, he tries to kill himself by cutting his wrists. Cal and Beth find him in the bathroom just in time, thank goodness. They take him to a mental hospital and keep him there for eight months. The story starts a month after Conrad gets out of the hospital. Even though Cal set up for Conrad to start seeing a therapist named Dr. Tyrone Berger, he is still having a hard time getting through each day. He is always worn out from hanging out with his friends and swimming teammates Lazenby, Stillman, Truen, Genth, and Van Buren. They meet at choir practice, and he thinks she is stunningly beautiful. Her name is Janine Pratt. He understands that swimming doesn't make him happy like it used to. The most important thing is that his relationship with Beth is tense, they don't talk much because Beth tries to avoid him at all costs. Berger and Conrad meet for the first time. Conrad doesn't like how the therapist looks, acts, or talks to him, but they agree to meet twice a week. The lessons happen at a bad time for the Jarretts because they are having a hard time with their family situation. Beth gets mad when Cal talks about Conrad's therapy sessions at a party. Conrad should let go of his feelings, Berger tells him. At the same time, Karen, an old friend from the hospital, goes against Berger's advice. Most of Conrad's friends don't offer any help, except for Lazenby. Giving up the swim team to make time for his talks with Berger makes him feel better. When Christmas comes around, though, things start to get better for Conrad. He makes success with Berger, and things start to look up between him and Janine. Beth's bad news. To her surprise and shame, a friend tells her that Conrad quit the swim team. The news causes a big fight between Conrad, Cal, and Beth. Cal is stuck between his wife and his son, because each of them feels like the other has hurt them. Cal is even more let down when his plan to give Conrad a car as a Christmas gift fails. Things will get better in the new year. Cal goes to see Berger on his own, which makes him more aware of how he feels. Conrad starts going out with Janine seriously. As time goes on, she starts to talk about her own difficult past, which makes her one of the few people Conrad can trust. Though, things get tricky for Conrad again when he runs into his swim team friends in the school parking lot after a meet. A fight starts because Stillman says some mean things. After the fight is over, Lazenby tells Conrad how upset he is that their friendship is ending. Beth and Cal go to Dallas. A golf event is going on while Cal is there, and Beth meets up with her brother Ward and his wife Audrey. To be with his grandparents in Chicago, Conrad stays behind. One day, he reads in the newspaper that his friend Karen has killed herself. This news makes Conrad very sad, and he starts to think about the events that led to the death of his own brother. At the same time, Cal finally lets out his rising anger toward Beth while he is still in Texas. He doesn't like how cool she is with Conrad. In a fit of feeling, Conrad calls Berger to talk about his huge realization. Conrad finally understands that his fear and anxiety are caused by guilt, blaming himself for Buck's death was the thing that hurt him the most. It dawns on him just as Beth and Cal get back from their trip. Their disagreement opens their eyes, and it makes them fight again. Beth chooses to move out. Overall, the book ends on a good note, Cal and Conrad take the first steps toward a more open relationship, Conrad makes progress with Janine and Lazenby, and he learns that Beth loves him even though she is emotionally distant from him. About the author. Judith Guest was born in Detroit, Michigan. After graduating from the University of Michigan in 1958, Guest quickly got a job as a grade school teacher. Guest says she has been writing since she was 11 years old, but she didn't finish many pieces until she joined a short story contest in 1970. Soon after, she quit teaching to concentrate on finishing something. 
The result was Ordinary People, a short story that she worked on for three years and turned into her first book. The book came out in 1976 and won the Janet Heidinger Kafka Prize that same year. Since then, Guest has written five more books, as well as a number of short stories and non-fiction pieces. She lives in the Twin Cities area of Minnesota. Hope we summarized it fully and you liked it. Please hit the like button and subscribe to our channel so that we are motivated to create more videos.